Hello everyone. So in this video, I'm going to do a problem from chapter 1, the end of chapter 1 problems. And this problem is problem 1.4.1. I will read the problem statement with you and I will write the assumptions. And then we're going to go ahead and start um, solving the problem. So problem 1.4.1, it says that mobile telephones perform handoffs as they move from cell to cell. During a call, a telephone either performs zero handoffs, so it's either zero handoff, one handoff, that we're going to show it by H1, or more than one handoff, that we're going to show it by H2. In addition, each call is either long, so each call is either long that we're going to show it by L or brief that we are going to show it by B. The following table describes the probabilities of the possible types of calls. So we are given this table that it is showing the probabilities um, of the possible types of calls. So we have zero handoffs, one handoffs or more than one, and then the call can be either long or brief. So the probabilities are 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.2. And down here for brief, we're going to have 0 0.4, 0 0.1, and 0 0.1. So part A, it is saying that what is the probability that a brief call have no handoffs? So see what you can understand from this problem statement. We know that the probability, we, the probability that we're looking for is for a brief call. So we are sure that we are given that our call is brief. Okay, so this is probability of no handoffs given that the call is brief. Why am I using a conditional probability? Because let me read the statement of the problem again. It says that what is the probability that a brief call? So we are sure that the call is brief. So it is given that the call is brief. So we want to see what is the probability that we'll have no handoffs. Okay. So we know that probability of H0 given B is equal to probability of H0 intersect B over probability of B. So let me see what do I have in this table. Probability of H0 intersect B. In the table, it is obvious that and clear that this is the probability of H0 intersect B. But I need to find the probability of B as well. What is the probability of B? Probability of B is saying that what is the probability that the call is brief, okay? It didn't say anything about um, the handoffs, right? The number of handoffs. So let's find the probability of the call being brief first. So the call can be either with no handoffs and brief, or it has one handoff and brief, or it has more than one handoff and brief. So we do have all these three probabilities. So that would be equal to um, 0 0.4, plus 0 0.1 plus 0 0.1 and that would give us 0 0.6. So the probability that a call is brief is 0 0.6. So I'm going to substitute it in my equation over here. So probability of H0 intersect B is 0 0.4 and probability of B is 0 0.6. So we're going to have 2 over 3. All right. Now let's go to part B. So if you remember in class, I also mentioned that when we have a conditional probability in the problem, it is not necessarily um, being stated that the problem is conditional. So you may not see the word given to um, understand that the problem is talking about the conditional probability. So you have to make sure that you understand the problem statement and uh, realize if the problem is looking for a conditional probability or not. So part B, it is asking that, um, what is the probability that a call with one hand off will be long? So see again, I will read the statement and we will analyze it together. What is the probability that a call with one hand off? So it is saying certainly that we do have one hand off. So it is given, oops, 
um, so it's given that the call has one handoff, right? And we want to know what is the probability that a call with one handoff will be long. So what is the probability of the call being long, given that we do have one handoff? So again, we get this conditional probability, and then if we write the formula for that, we're going to have probability of L intersect H1 over probability of H1. So now I have to find the probability of H1 because probability of L intersect H1 is already in the table, which is um, 0 0.1. That is over here. So let's find the probability of H1. So probability of H1 is the probability that a phone phone call um, that a call has one handoff. So the call can be long with one handoff or can be short. I mean brief with one handoff. So I can write here it's probability of long intersect one handoff or brief intersect one handoff. So that would be 0 0.1 plus 0 0.1, and we're going to have 0 0.2. So here, that would be 0 0.1 over 0 0.2, and we're going to have 1 over 2. Okay, so this was part B, and then part C is asking for what is the probability that a long call will have one or more handoffs? So first, let's see if this is a conditional probability or not. It says that what is the probability that a long call, so it is already defining for us that the call is for sure long. So it is given that the call is long, right? So it is probability of the call that is long, so it is given that the call is long, and we want to know um, the probability that a long call will have one or more handoffs. So either one handoff or more than one handoff, right? So in all these three um, sections of this problem, I wrote the given part first because I want to show you why we are using the conditional probability and why I understood from the problem statement that this is a conditional probability. So after solving so many like problems yourself, you'll be comfortable um, with figuring out this conditional probability and you can just write right away that we are looking for probability of H1 union H2 given L. All right, so this one will be probability of H1 L or probability of H2L. Why am I using a sum? Because we have the union and we know that between the call with one handoff and the call with more than one handoff, there is no intersection between them. So they are mutually exclusive. So they don't have any intersection, right? So I can write the union as a sum over probability of the phone call being long. So probability of H1 intersect L is this one over here. And then probability of H2 intersect L is this 0 0.2 over here. So I do have the numerator, which is 0 0.1 plus 0 0.2. Now I have to find the probability of the phone call being long. So the phone call being long can have either zero handoffs, one handoff, or more than one handoffs. So that will be probability of H0L plus probability of H1L plus probability of H2L. And from the table, I do have this as 0 0.1 plus 0 0.1 plus 0 0.2, which is the upper row of the table. So that would be 0 0.4. So I'm going to substitute it in my uh, form, the equation, and I'm going to be left with 3 over 4. So this was a problem on conditional probability. And if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments down below, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.